Mongolia, the land of Chinggis and Kublai Khan. These great warriors conquered the known world from the backs of horses. The plains, steppes, and mountains which feed these horses are also home to Argali, giant sheep. sitting here staring at domestic sheep a couple miles away and yet as you look at it and you sit here you take it all in the vastness of it is a bit overwhelming it's it's tantamount to being on on the moon with some grass i would say not a whole lot but it's it's hard to to get a sense of just the enormity of it and the enormity of really nothing there's no development there's no light poles, there's nothing, just land and animals. And it's truly spectacular, probably the most remote place I think I've ever been in my life. And it's, like I said, it's overwhelming. sitting up here glassing for sheep and it's unbelievable wind it's just been howling all day sheep hunting is challenging enough without having to deal with weather Animals tend not to move in high winds because their sense of smell and hearing are impaired. They simply bed down, making it that much more difficult to find them. One of the locals found six rams, including one really big ram. We have groups fanned out looking for these rams. It seems like we're trying to find a needle in a haystack. The guides try their utmost to put me on sheep, but with time running out, we grow desperate. It's out of our control, so we plan to take it to a higher power.
curious how everyone who comes up here throws a rock or a stick or they bring a skull or a jawbone or a leg bone and add to the temple. Everyone makes their pilgrimage around the temple and uh, gives offerings. And hopefully they're uh, trying to give an offering for sheep because we've seen none. trying to find a couple of different bands of rams that we saw this morning. We saw a band of two rams early, early, and then they disappeared. And then a little bit later, we saw a band of four rams, and they topped out off to the north. And so right now, we're trying to find the two rams. I'll we'll tell you, it's inclement conditions. It's windy as can be, but that's sheep hunting. Michael? Yes, sir. They saw six rams. They did? Yeah. So we're going over there? And they said that we must look to that mountain. That you. Over here? Yeah. Behind us? Mm -hmm. There they are. Huh? I see them. They're going up over the top. Oh, yeah. It's encouraging since the wind died down that we're seeing the animals so early this morning. Unfortunately, those are all really young rams. As we enjoy our last lunch on the mountain, a call comes in. The outriders found sheep. They've got a ram spotted up on the other side over there. He's bedded down, they think he's a good ram, so we're gonna make the climb up and get after him.
As I walk up on what is my Ovis Amund Darwini, I am certain I have taken the right ram. He was by far past his prime. Like Chinggis and Kublai, he was a great warrior as evidenced by his Roman nose and battered horns. I have played my part in the conservation of this species that was started by many great hunters who came before me. For we are the ultimate conservationists. Many I am. My journey has taken me to the Gobi Altai being in the presence of the descendants of the great Khan and experiencing the culture of Mongolia are seared into my memory. I am eternally grateful. <laughs>